My question is professor, for Professor uh, Nair. Uh, obviously, I do applaud the uh, effort to monitor diabetes, but at the end of the day, it's much more prevention than cure that is important. And I will remind the audience that uh, not only uh, diabetes is, is a serious problem, but it leads to complication of kidney disease, among many others. And uh, I do not believe that by having gadget which will allow you to monitor the level of insulin or otherwise you're going to do a great deal of uh, will have a great deal of benefit for the for the population as a whole so I would like you to comment sure. okay. prevention is better than cure Dr. Claude is uh, well taken however at least in the Indian context where as I said about 65 million Indians today are diabetic the question about preventing disease doesn't exist. It's a disease that is debilitating in its own way and finding a way to manage that disease is what we are looking at. This is again a project that was initiated under AMA's guidance and today we are at the stage where we uh, can at least try to f provide low-cost relief in monitoring that disease state because for example, the insulin pump that I was talking about, that's available in the U.S. and other parts of the world. But by the time it reaches the Indian market, that cost of 6,000 to 8,000 U.S. dollars is far beyond the reach of the average Indian diabetic patient or anywhere else in Southeast Asia. So being able to provide a low-cost alternative, which has all the features of the imported pumps yet has a cost that is affordable is what we have been looking at. And then in the more recent collaboration with this company Wipro, we hope we can provide a 24 by 7 monitoring system where a diabetologist, a helpline is available to monitor and allow patients uh, to lead a better life. That's the idea. Could, could I come back to that one, <laughs> Dr. Professor Barnard? Uh, I think I might have a solution for this one. Monitoring is ob obviously very important. They, and you touch upon a very important uh, point about diet, what we should eat, what we shouldn't eat. And actually, I touch upon something. Uh, I didn't have time. I was nearly dragged out of the platform earlier. Uh, and that is the gut microbiota. There are 10 to the 14th of them versus 10 to the 13 of us. Uh, what, there's a paper coming out in either part three or part four. Uh, and so the professor from Johns Hopkins, I'll come back to your question later on, okay? And so we have discovered plants or vegetables are very, very good to prevent uh, the worsening of diabetes. And this is going back to the, the Yellow Emperor classics. And that actually when diabetic patients, because in olden days, Chinese didn't know what diabetes was. They know thirst. You know, people who are diabetic are thirsty. And their urine is actually, there's a lot of ants around. And so they actually have, this, actually have uh, documented in the Yellow Emperor's classic, there are certain formulations which can be used to prevent diabetes. And we actually have uh, taken those plants and extracted it and then put it into, I'm afraid, animal studies start with, and also humans, and there we're getting some very amazing results. So that's one thing. And so we are, and also at the same time, we monitor the gut microbiota and they actually shift you can do the metabolomics and the shift of the patient's uh, gut microbiota from their stools. You can see there's a lot of pathologic bacteria there, overwhelming the neutral ones or the healthy ones, but now we can shift it to a healthy state. So that is actually what we are doing. So combining the classics, I'm sure in Ayurvedic, we have many of these, and so we are rediscovering some of the treasure we, which we have tend to have thrown away years ago. And so we are now using modern technology and we are, it's a paradigm shift if you like, 
So you're absolutely right. Prevention is better than cure. So gut microbiota could be an answer. 